There's a couple of players that obviously graced both sets of clubs. Uh, Jimmy Laws won Roy Powell as well. We mm. talked about him quite earlier. I remember him being one of the first guys to sign my autograph book as a kid. What was he like to play with? Yeah, great. Great. Big Roy, big bird. Uh, <laughs> and, he, he, you know, I'd left the Marines and it was just one of those cultures when I went to Bradford Northern, which was very similar, yep. where the older senior blokes ran the show. And right. we had, I had a Pete Fox as a, as a coach. And he was great, Foxy. I really enjoyed him, really enjoyed his time. He never really said anything to me <laughs> other than shush and keep out of the way. But uh, but there was a real seniority to to that Bradford Northern squad. Uh, Brian Noble, David Hobbs, uh, Roy Powell, you know, Dave Aaron, who do, who yeah, actually yeah. played for both, both clubs. And uh, it was a good culture off the club as well. And they all trained really hard. And I thought they were all really fit men. But after leaving the Marines, and I, I drank some beer when I was in the Marines, but I was surprised at how much beer these fellas drank. <laughs> and, and after the game, you know, and if we ever had a social event afterwards, they were they used to play really hard and then come on the field and work hard. So Roy was the leader in that gang. Uh, but a really tough bloke. I thought he epitomised the, the, the version of toughness, Roy. Yep. And I don't know. Roy once said himself, he, I don't think he's ever had a fight, Roy. He'd always... He'd always calm it down, Roy. <laughs> Articulate bloke, and would, yeah, he would. He'd calm it down, and let's all be measured and calm. He always, he always knew that if he wanted to pick it up and throw it, he could do. Uh, but I thought on the field when it got really tasty, and this is the mark of of any tough player when it gets really tasty, and all you can see is people's squad numbers because yeah. they're walking away from the rook. Yep. You never saw his squad number. You just used to see his face and his right. chest, and walking towards the rook, saying, "Give me the ball here. I'll I'll try and cut us out of our area and, and make some meters." And <laughs> he did that while he was at Bradford, and he had that same approach to drinking as well. <laughs> never really fast, but there all day long, just kept it, kept at it and kept at it. So, one of those blokes that you learn a lot from. Maybe you don't learn the techniques of the game or strategy of the game, but you learn some of that culture and that philosophy about rugby league off, off Roy.